Okay guys, uh, tonight I wanted to show you guys these Aiken DJI FPV prop adapters. Um, if you guys on YouTube have uh, been showing these off, I think uh, the original Dobos, one of the guys I can think of, uh, got me excited to try this. I don't like paying what DJI wants for these silly props. Fifteen or twenty dollars for a set of them. Um, so I was pretty excited to uh, when I heard about this to try it out. So I ordered it in. Uh, I don't know, like it took four four days ago, I think, or so, four or five days ago. Ordered it and it showed up tonight. So um, one of the other things is I live at high altitude, and these Lumineer uh, the gate breakers, these props. I've been running them all on all of my five inch drones and I just absolutely love them for I'm, I'm at 7,000 feet altitude here so thin air it's hard to get bite and it just seemed like my uh, race drones were uh, they just didn't have enough hang time so I tried a few different props and uh, these lumineers became my favorite so I wanted to try them on the DJI FPV drone so anyways um, I'll scoot down here and show you you know what most of you that already own this drone know that's basically what you can see when you take the rotor off the DJI drone um, there's three screws holding this little gray circle down that's on top of the motor I've already taken them out and uh, all you do is unscrew those three, lift this little gray piece off, and then there's this little spring that puts pressure against the rotor for the DJI uh, quick release system. And then the adapter, that's all it looks like right there, but it's made out of some sort of, I think it's steel or stainless steel, I think it's stainless steel. Um, oops. Um, yeah, very well made. It looks to be pretty high quality. So that just sets right down over the original post, motor post, or whatever that is there. And all you have to do is just line up the holes. You can see these holes here. Just line them up. And the kit came with new screws. So I put the old screws and the parts in this bag and use the new screws so I'll go ahead and install these for you real quick here we go pretty simple like I said line up the holes and um, I'm going to put some blue Loctite on these if you look at the original DJI screws, there's blue little bit of blue Loctite on them. I don't know if that shows up in the video or not. So I think that's probably a really good idea. Um, but I did already do a test flight tonight, and now the screws came loose. I really liked how these Lumineers performed on this DJI drone. Um, you can tell by the name I gave this big old heavy thing here. What I've always thought of it, Big Bertha there. Um, that's what she'd be. She'd be a big old heavy drone, man. So the problem I always had with it that was a little uncomfortable is when I'm coming down pretty quick if you're not thinking to power up um, quick enough this thing will go right into the ground it just it, it doesn't have the power for the weight you know in a, in a maneuver where you're really coming down hard so the Lumineers did I in my opinion much better it's still a little underpowered the drone is but anyway so props go on like that course all of us that have been messing with the race drones for a while or anything in the 
five inch glass are are uh, very used to this uh, system but I'm sure many of you out there um, have started in the FPV game with this drone here so you've never dealt with having to actually this is my favorite way to put props on I know the DJI system slick and pretty quick but I don't completely trust it I like these lock nuts you just tighten that thing on there then I'll grab a hold of the motor and just give it a good yank and make sure it's not spinning at all but you know the prop in between the nut, nut there so yeah that be it um, I've got some flight footage that I'll show you guys now um, I'm I'm absolutely a fan if for nothing else the fact that these props are just a little over you can get them on sale for under three dollars but sometimes they'll be a little bit over three dollars for a set um, I bought I bought quite a few of them because I'm enjoying them on everything. I don't know if there's a price on here or not. But I'm pretty sure it was right around $3 that I, that I paid. Um, as opposed to what I have even checked. But I think from what I've heard, $15 to $20 for a set of these dumb DJI blades. So um, I still have yet to do any long distance stuff. Um... I did do a pretty, I, what I felt like was a pretty long flight with some acro mixed in with just really low and slow cruising. And I felt like I got pretty good flight time. I landed, I remember right at about 16% battery left, so I used up most of it. It wasn't a fully charged battery. I think it was 96% charged. But yeah, I, I definitely wasn't noticing a big loss of uh, minutes in the air uh, and I forgot to look at the footage to see what my actual time was um, maybe I'll update you guys with that when I show you the the flight footage but um, yeah enjoy here's the flight footage